Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you install the propane orifice kit components in your range, unplug the power cord and shut off the gas supply. Carefully lift off the burner grates and remove the right front burner cap. Insert a 7 mm nut driver through the hole in the burner head and use it to unthread the natural gas orifice from the holder. You can now install the appropriate propane orifice. The front burner orifices use a yellow and orange color coating. Thread the new orifice into the holder, then tighten. Replace the burner cap. Repeat this procedure for the left front burner orifice. To replace the rear and center burner orifices, you will need to use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the burner heads. Set the heads aside. Use pliers to secure the orifice holders as you unthread the old orifice and replace it with the new one. The left rear and center orifices are color-coded yellow and black. The color coding for the right rear orifice is yellow and white. With the orifice installed, realign the burner head and secure it with the screws. Replace the burner caps and reposition the grates. Next, open the oven door and remove the racks. Lift the lower access panel up from the rear and slide it back to remove. Unthread the mounting screw securing the burner tube. Detach the tube. Place a small piece of electrical tape over the end of a 3 8 inch nut driver. Then use the driver to unthread the natural gas orifice from the safety valve tube. Thread the propane oven orifice into the safety valve tube and tighten. Reposition the burner tube and replace the mounting screw to secure. Be aware you may need to adjust the air shutter on the burner tube to achieve a proper flame. Now use a large flathead screwdriver to unthread the regulator cap. Unthread the spring tension pin and thread the opposite end of the pin into the cap. Confirm that the washer is in place. Then thread the cap back into the regulator and tighten. Replace the lower access panel by inserting the front edge under the oven door frame. Then push the rear of the panel into place. Reinstall the oven racks. With the repair completed, turn the gas supply back on. Plug the power cord back in. And your range should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos 
by purchasing your parts from our website.